Tonight, lawyers representing the family of a teen who drowned in a pool at an Orange Park Airbnb want to warn others about the dangers of pools at short-term vacation rentals, they say. This comes after they recently settled a million-dollar wrongful death lawsuit against the company. As News for Jack's reporter Khalil Maycock shares, the lawyers say they hope this spares other families from avoidable tragedies. They're doing as well as they can, but they've gone through the worst loss that, that anybody could go through. Todd Michaels, an attorney whose law firm represented 16-year-old Cameron Brown's family, is describing how they're doing. The family didn't want to speak today, but spoke with me last year, a few weeks after their son died. His parents said he was in this pool at their Airbnb in Orange Park. The 16-year-old was standing in what he thought was the shallow end. He took a few steps and went under. His mom said there were no life jackets or safety devices around the pool to pull him out, so she jumped in to save him, but was unsuccessful. He was taken to the hospital and died on May 26th, 2023. A day his parents told me in our last interview, they'll never forget. You know, we miss our son, we love him. Cameron's parents said there were no indicators around the pool saying where it sloped or how deep the pool was. So the family filed this lawsuit. They recently won a $1.3 million wrongful death case against Airbnb. What message does the $1.3 million settlement send to Airbnb as well as just host families when it comes to keeping their pool safe? People who are renting their homes through Airbnb and Airbnb themselves need to start treating the safety of their guests with the same urgency as they treat making money off of their guests. So what if you're an Airbnb owner with a pool? What are you going to do to keep your guest safe? Here's some tips. According to PoolSafely.gov, make sure all pools and spas have compliant drain covers because hair, limbs, or bathing suits can get stuck in a drain or suction opening. The website also says install safety devices like fences, barriers, and alarms around the pool. Also have life jackets available. According to Water Safety USA, inexperienced or non-swimmers should wear them in pools or open water situations when other layers of protection are limited. And Michael says Cameron's parents want people who book vacation rentals to be aware of potential risks and look out for homes that do not have protections in place, because if not, more drownings can happen. According to Florida Department of Children and Families, last year, 99 children died from drowning statewide. This year, there have been 34. Michaels also says the family hopes the rental company makes some changes to its policy. The hope is that Airbnb understands that, that they have an obligation to anyone who is renting that unit, renting that home, to make it safe and to bring it into compliance with normal safety standards. Clell Maycock, Channel 4, the local station. News for Jax did reach out to Airbnb asking about this case and whether they've changed any safety measures since the death. We are waiting to hear back.